Philadelphia Eagles now is presented by True Classic Tees, a brand that I absolutely love. Regular t-shirts, athletic wear, golf polos like this with awesome material. And for the Fly Eagles Fly family, 25% off. If you go to trueclassictees.com slash chat, we'll tell you more about them. And we'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video so that you can look fresh and save money today. Coming your way on Philadelphia Eagles now. Another loaded show on the docket. The Eagles right now through two games. Yes, they're 2-0. They're atop the NFC East, but the defense continues to be a little bit of a problem, especially with that pass rush. Only two sacks in two games. So do they need to upgrade along the defensive line and bring in some edge rushers? Could it be Jason Pierre-Paul? According to reports, Eagles still interested in him. And could they pull off a trade for Robert Quinn? How he do that? We'll get to that coming up around the corner. First, though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're doing it all here on Philadelphia Eagles now. The goal by the end of the 2022 NFL season to reach a huge milestone here at Chat Sports of 50,000 subscribers. I think we can get there because I know what Eagles fans are all about. Die-hard fans, they want coverage every single day, so it's certainly possible. Closing in on 33,000 subscribers, and if you're coming across this channel for the first time, or if you're warming up to me here on Eagles Now, what you can expect moving forward year-round, daily videos every single day on the birds, entertaining and informative analysis, news, rumors, breaking news. Last week, we were doing some All-22. Live shows are now in the mix every single Thursday, as well as watch parties. We'll be doing another one this Sunday against the Washington Commanders. So hit that red sub button right now and be sure to lock us in. We begin on the free agency market with Philadelphia, in particular, Jason Pierre-Paul. Reports indicate that the Eagles still have interest in him for a guy who's really had a successful career back in the day, causing a lot of havoc and was a menace with the New York Giants. And then the last couple of years before hitting the free agency market currently with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right now, Philadelphia currently 24th in sacks produced with just two. And Jason Pierre-Paul could come to Philadelphia because I think he could come at an affordable price and be a very good depth component along this defensive line. On Tuesday, visited with the Baltimore Ravens, and in addition to Baltimore, as well as Philadelphia, Kansas City Chiefs also in the mix. This coming from Josina Anderson. What does Josie have to say? Just got off the phone with free agent defensive end Jason Pierre-Paul after his visit with Baltimore on Tuesday. Worked out with them this morning, he said. Everything went well. Left there already. The interest is mutual. So we'll see how the business side goes, but a couple of other teams reached out as well, and one of those teams could be Philadelphia. As for the Eagles' defense this year and going back to last year, can they improve on some of these marks? They were 29th in red zone defense, 16th in third down defense, 1-7 in seven against winning teams, 31st in blitz percentage, which is really where Jason Pierre-Paul comes into the equation here. Ninth against the rush, 18th in points against 30, a uh, 25th, excuse me, in third down percentage and 28th in red zone percentage. Now, bringing in Jason Pierre-Paul would be great, but the Eagles, as part of this huge offseason for Howie Roseman, also made a notable signing in bringing in Hassan Reddick. And he is supposed to help out this pass rush. And I expect him to do just that. And many are complaining about his role and the fact that he's dropped back in coverage a lot and he hasn't produced any sacks throughout the first two games because that's what he's getting paid to do. But if you look at some of the numbers, actually, he's being used like he was last year with the Carolina Panthers with his former college coach at Temple in Matt Rule, who is now on the hot seat with the Panthers. Last year, he dropped back into coverage 8% of the time, still generated 12 and a half sacks 2020 after it looked as though he was going to be a bust coming out of Temple with the Arizona Cardinals he dropped back 17 percent of the time still had 11 sacks but before that as you can see right here he was put back in coverage away from his strengths just wasn't utilized well and that's why those sack numbers were down and this year he has dropped back in coverage 9% of the time, so he's being used like he actually was with the Carolina Panthers. But those sack numbers are not there. I want Jonathan Gannon to get more creative with him on some of those stunts, on some of those delayed blitzes. I don't want to see him back in coverage all that much. I want to see Hassan Reddick playing with this hair on fire. And moving forward, I expect him to be a little bit better. But if you bring in Jason Pierre-Paul, that doesn't mean that Hassan Reddick can't 
rush the passer as much. You just need another depth component along this defensive line, and that's what JPP does really well. That's what he's done well ever since he came into the league. 91 and a half career sacks, made it to the Pro Bowl only in 2020, and had nine and a half sacks with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 2021, 12 games, two and a half sacks, so the numbers were down. 33 years old, a little bit of a concern, but again, you're not asking him to be New York Giants, Jason Pierre-Paul, or even 2020, Jason Pierre-Paul. A complimentary pass rusher for Jonathan Gannon's defense would be his ideal role. So what do you think, fam? Should the Eagles sign JPP? Let me know right now in the comment section by giving me a Y for yes or an N for no. Coming up next, maybe even a better pass rusher who could be available, not through free agency, but through the trade market. Robert Quinn, how he do that? Could he do it again and get aggressive once more? But as I mentioned off the top of the show, I'm rocking a true classic polo here. These shirts, I have this package. It's absolutely phenomenal. Comfortable wear that's stylish and affordable for men of all shapes and sizes. And you know how girls, fellas, have push-up bras? Well, us guys, we have these t-shirts and these polos as well. You are wearing the wrong clothes if you're not wearing any of this gear from True Classic Tees. It's time to level up. Highlight your greatest assets with a shirt that you can confidently throw on at any time. Loungewear, going outwear, you need True Classic. Their tees are snug around the arms and chest to make your muscles pop like your boy here and looser in the torso for added comfort. 25% off of your order if you use the promo code chat at trueclassictees.com slash chat. One more time, putting that link in the comment section and the description of this video. Really, the affordability to add to your fashion a wonderful component here from True Classic Tees. Could another big move be in store for the Philadelphia Eagles? I mean, shoot, they did so much moving in the offseason through free agency, through trades. Could they make another trade to really bolster up this defensive line? And could Howie Roseman go big fish swinging here like Ryan Howard back in the day at Citizens Bank Park? By the way, the Philadelphia Phillies are absolute frauds, choking in September once again. Anyway, let's get to Robert Quinn. That's why you're here. So reports in the spring that Robert Quinn wanted to be traded out of the Chicago Bears organization. Why is that? Well, he's a 32-year-old pass rusher on a rebuilding team. There are teams out there like the Birds who need some pass rushing help, and he has three years remaining on his contract. Now, considering the age at 32 and considering the base salary here to my right, a little bit lofty. A little bit expensive, but this guy can still play, and he's been getting it done for a really long time since he was drafted in 2011 by the St. Louis Rams. Base salary this year, $12.8 million. Next year goes up to nearly $14 million in base salary. Then the final year of his deal, 12.9 in 2024. But if you look at the numbers that he's been able to produce over the last couple of years, this guy can get after the passer. This guy can be a menace. This guy can cause problems against opposing defenses. Now, right now, he's playing with the Bears. They run a little bit of a 3-4, but this guy's just a bona fide pass rusher. He can play in a 4-3 scheme. And last year, 18 and a half sacks, 2020, only two, but... The production really wasn't there because he didn't play all that much back in 2019 with the Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? 11 and a half sacks. And then back in 2018, six and a half sacks. So the production has long been there for Robert Quinn. And so far this year, four tackles, one sack. He took down Aaron Rodgers on Sunday Night Football and one quarterback hit. Week one in those sloppy conditions against San Francisco didn't really do all that much. But the point here being, again, that the Eagles defensive line is good. You have Fletcher Cox. You have Javon Hargrave. You have Josh Wett. You have Hassan Reddick. But if you add players to the mix, it gives you depth after losing Derek Barnett for the rest of the season with that torn ACL. And both Jason Pierre-Paul and Robert Quinn are very talented players, even though they're in their early 30s on the back couple of holes of their respective careers. So if you had to pick one pass rusher among these two who are the subject matters of today's show, who would you rather Howie Roseman go after? Sign Jason Pierre-Paul or trade for Robert Quinn? 
J for JPP, R for Robert Quinn. Show off that football smarts in the comment section right now. And before we get out of here, you want to interact with me on social media? Let's ride. At Chase underscore Senior on Twitter and IG. I put out a bunch of clips, a bunch of stats, all of our videos on my social media pages. Can't wait to hear from you. And as always, appreciate all of your support of Philadelphia Eagles. Now, fly, Eagles, fly. E-A-G-L-E-S. We out. Thank you.